Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day. Don't forget, grab your smartphone and download the Lava Matra app and stay in touch. Guru Maharaj's message is your advantage. The following is a Sri Krishna Chaitanya book compilation given by His Holiness Jaya Pataka Swami Maharaj on November 7th, 2021 in Sri Damayapur, India. Pangum Langayati Girim Sri Gurum Dinatarinam Sri Chaitanya Mishwaram Hare Hare Krishna, dear devotees. Today we will continue with the compilation of Sri Krishna Chaitanya book. Today's chapter is entitled as Three processes for understanding Brahman, Paramatma and Bhagavan. Under the section, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu instructs Sanatan Goswami in the science of Absolute Truth. Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Leela 20.144 Vedadi Shakol Shastre Krishna Mukha Sammandha Tar Gane Anushangye Jai Maya Vandha In all revealed scriptures, beginning with the Vedas, the central point of attraction is Krishna. When complete knowledge of Him is realized, then the bondage of Maya the illusory energy is automatically broken. Hare Krishna is the core of life. So, knowing Krishna is the goal of life. We should try to understand Krishna. We should try to understand Krishna. Understand that Krishna is like the sun, Maya is like darkness. So, there is a statement like Krishna is like the sun and Maya is like the darkness. Wherever there is Krishna, there is no Maya. Wherever there is Krishna, there is no Maya. Chaitanya Charita Mrita Madhya Leela 20.145 Bhakti Rasamrita Shunyo Dui Char Aksho Dhyali Dhuta Parma Purani Bhaisak Mahate Jam Brahman Sangha there are many types of Vedic literatures and supplementary Puranas. In each of them, there are particular demigods who are spoken of as the chief demigods. This is just to create an illusion for moving and non-moving living entities. Let them perpetually engage in such imagination. However, when one analytically studies all these Vedic literatures collectively, he comes to the conclusion that Lord Vishnu is the one and only Supreme Personality of Godhead, purported by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. This is a verse from the Patma Purana. In each of the Vedas, there may be some reference to different devatas. So, in each of the Vedas, there may be some reference for different devatas. Demigods. Demigods. But ultimately, Krishna is the most, is, is the focus. But ultimately, Krishna is the focus. Vishnu is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Vishnu is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And He is above all the demigods. And He is above all the demigods. Chaitanya Charita Amrita Madhya Leela 20.146 
when one accepts the vedic literature by interpretation or even by dictionary meaning directly or indirectly the ultimate declaration of vedic knowledge points to lord krishna people may use different methods to understand the vedas by word by word understanding by word by word understanding by dictionary understanding by dictionary understanding by interpretation by interpretation or alternately all conclusions lead to the same end but ultimately all conclusion lead to the same end that krishna is the supreme person of god that he is the all attractive personality that krishna is the supreme personality of godhead and that he is the all attractive personality chaitanya charitamrita madhya leela 20.147 to 48 lord krishna said what is the purpose of all vedic literatures on whom do they focus who is the object of all speculation Out, outside of me no one knows these things now you should know that all these activities are aimed at ordaining and setting forth me the purpose of the vedic literatures is to know me by different speculation either by indirect understanding or by dictionary understanding everyone is speculating about me <coughs> the essence of all vedic literatures is to distinguish me from maya by considering the illusory energy one comes to the platform of understanding me in this way one becomes free from speculation about the vedas and comes to me as the conclusion thus one is satisfied purport by his divine grace shila prabhupad these two verses are quoted from shrimad bhagavatam 11.21 0.4243 When Uddhava asked Krishna about the purpose of Vedic speculation the Lord informed him of the process of understanding the Vedic literature The Vedas are composed of Karma Kanda Jnana Kanda and Upasana Kanda When one analytically studies the purpose of the Vedas understands that by Karma Kanda sacrificial activity one comes to the conclusion of jnana kanda speculative knowledge and that after speculation one comes to the conclusion that worship of the supreme personality of godhead is ultimate is the ultimate when one comes to this conclusion then he becomes fully satisfied ahare or shri as we are saying god have Krishna has Krishna form ultimately worshiping the supreme personality of godhead Krishna or his Vishnu forms is the ultimate goal of the Vedas is the ultimate goal of the Vedas and thus he will can be fully satisfied by serving Krishna and thus people can be fully satisfied by serving Krishna Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Leela 20.149 Ananta Sarva Krishna Ananta Shakti Vaibhav Krishna Sarva Ananta Vaibhav Apar Chit Shakti Maya Shakti Jiv Shakti Apar The transcendental form of Lord Krishna is unlimited and also has unlimited opulence he possesses the internal potency external potency and marginal potency various and the other ways are marginal potency the living entities are marginal potency material nature is is material external energy the material nature is his material external energy and has and tell what I'm saying in my class name or on a little bit means of raga 
and his internal potency is like lakshmi radha rani gopis king, queens of dwaraka stars of forces are his spiritual potencies chaitanya charitamrita madhya leela 20.115 chit o achit jagat tat shakti parinato evam krishna srito vaikunth brahmandavan shakti karya hai sarup shakti shakti karjer krishna samasray the material and spiritual world are transformations of krishna's external and internal potencies respectively therefore krishna is the original source of both the material and spiritual manifestations chaitanya charitamrita madhya leela 20.151 bhavartha dipika ai bhagavater 10 1 1 The tenth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam reveals the tenth object, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is the shelter of all surrendered souls. He is known as Shri, ha- Shri Krishna and He is the ultimate source of all the universes. Let me offer my obeisances unto Him. Purport by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Shri Prabhupada. This is a quotation from the Bhavartha Deepika of Sridhar Swami's commentary on Srimad Bhagavatam 10.1.1. In the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, there is a description of the Ashray Tattva Shri Krishna. There are two tattvas, Ashray Tattva and Ashrita Tattva. Ashray Tattva is the objective and Ashrita Tattva is the subjective. since the lotus feet of lord krishna are the shelter of all devotees shri krishna is called param dhama in the bhagavad gita 10.12 it is stated that stated para brahma param dhama pavitra pavitram paramam bhavan everything is resting under the lotus feet of lord of krishna in the shrimad bhagavatam 10.14.58 it is said samashita ye pada pallava plavam mahat padam punya yasho murarehe under the lotus feet of shri krishna the entire mahat tattva is existing since everything is under shri krishna's protection shri krishna is called ashray tattva everything else is called ashrita tattva the material creation is also called ashrita tattva liberation from material bondage and the attainment of spiritual platform are also ashrita tattva krishna is the only ashrita tattva in the beginning of the creation there are mahavishnu garbhodakashayi vishnu and shirodakashayi vishnu they are also ashrita tattva krishna is the cause of all causes sarva karana karanam to understand krishna perfectly one has to make an analytical study of ashray tattva and ashrita tattva krishna has other expansions right expansions krishna and his unlimited direct expansions they call the ashray tattva they are called the ashray tattva all the energies internal external and marginal all the energies internal external and marginal are his are ashrita tattva sheltered truths ah ashrita tattvas or sheltered truths akasha is a shelter and everything else is a shelter So Krishna is the shelter and everything else is the sheltered. Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Leela 20.152 Krishna Saro Vichar Teen Adhyayan Vibhu Sachidananda Sarva Avatari Kishor O Vajendra Nandan Krishna Saro Vichar Suna Sunatan Adhyayan Tattva 
ब्रजे ब्रजेंद्र नंदन ओ सनातन प्लीज हियर अबाउट द इटर्नल फॉर्म ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्णा ही इज द एब्सोल्यूट ट्रूथ डिवाइड ऑफ ड्यूरलिटी बट प्रेजेंट इन वृंदावन एज द सन ऑफ नंद महाराज Although Krishna is a source of everything, although Krishna is the source of everything, he lives in Vrindavan as the son of Nanda Maharaj. He lives in Vrindavan as the son of Nanda Maharaj. Chaitanya Charita Amrita Madhya Lila twenty point hundred fifty three. Sharva Adi Sharva Unchi Kishore Shekhar. चिदानंद देह सर्व श्रय सर्व कृष्ण इज दि ऑरिजिनल सोर्स ऑफ एवरीथिंग इन द सम टोटल ऑफ एवरीथिंग ही एपियर्स एज द सुप्रीम यूथ एंड हिज होल बॉडी इज कम्पोज ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल ब्लिस ही इज द शेल्टर ऑफ एवरीथिंग एंड मास्टर ऑफ एवरी वन परपॉर्ट बाय हिज डिवाइन ग्रेशल प्रवकात Krishna is the origin of all Vishnu tattvas including Mahavishnu Garbhodakashayi Vishnu and Sri Rodakashayi Vishnu He is the ultimate goal of Vaishnava philosophy Everything emanates from him his body is completely spiritual and is the source of all spiritual being Although he is the source of everything He himself has no source. Advaitam achyutam anadim ananta rupam adyam purana purusham navayavvanam cha. Although he is the supreme source of everyone, he is still always a fresh youth. Sometimes I think that God as an old man. Sometimes they picture God as an old man. Here states. All Krishna is the original. He is the source of everything. So here, but here it is states, although Krishna is the original and he is the source of everything, he always remains young. He always remains young. Fresh youth. Fresh youth. Chaitanya Charita Amrita Madhya Lila. सुप्रीम कंट्रोलर ही हैज एन इटर्नल ब्लिसफुल स्पिरिचुअल बॉडी ही इज दि ऑरिजिन ऑफ ऑल He has no other origin, for he is the prime cause of all causes. Purport: This is the first verse of the fifth chapter of the Brahma Samhita. Uh, this book, Brahma Samhita, fifth chapter. This book, Brahma Samhita, fifth chapter. Was located by Lord Chaitanya. Was located by Lord Chaitanya. And he was traveling to South India. And he was traveling to South India. I call it this book, and it's a treasure for the Vaishnava community. So he copied this book, and it's a treasure for the Vaishnava community. Chaitanya Charita Amrita Madhya Lila, twenty point hundred fifty-five. Krishna Govinda Evang Golokdhame Birajaman. Shayong Bhagavan Krishna. गोविंद पर नाम सर्वैश्वर्यपूर्ण जार गोलक नित्य धाम दि ऑरिजिनल सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड इज कृष्ण हिज ऑरिजिनल नेम इज गोविंद इज फुल ऑफ ऑल ऑपुलसेस एंड इज इटर्नल अबोर्ड इज नोन एज गोलोक वृंदावन Yes, Krishna's name, address, everything. So this verse gives Krishna's name, address, everything. Chaitanya Charita Amrita Madhya Lila, twenty point hundred fifty six. Shrimad Bhagwate Acti Nathas. Ete Changsho Kalapumsho Krishna Sto Bhagwan Shayam. 
इंद्राणी वा कुलंग लोकंग मुरायंति जुगे जुगे ऑल दिस इनकारनेशंस ऑफ गॉड हेड आर इदर प्लेनेरी पोर्शंस और पार्ट्स ऑफ द प्लेनेरी पोर्शंस ऑफ द पुरुषावतार्स बट कृष्णा इज द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड हिमसेल्फ in every age he protects the world through his different features when the world is disturbed by the enemies of indra purport by his divine wish la prabhat this is a quotation from shrimad bhagavatam 1.3.28 c also adilila chapter 2 verse 67 i have all the enemies who are the sires Are they independent of him? I chance in the material world. So it gives that all the living entities who are desires to be independent of him a chance to be in the material world. He gives to reform themselves and go back home back to Godhead. To reform themselves and go back home back to Godhead. But some are always enemies of him. But some are always enemical towards him. And so in the day the King of the Devas. To Indra Dev, the King of the Devas. Demi gods. Demi gods. So, and as I say, he gives order in material world. It's necessary. So, so when it's necessary, he keeps order of the material world. Chaitanya Charita Mrita Matya Lila twenty point hundred fifty seven. त्रिविध अभिधेय सम्बन्ध तत्व अध्याय ज्ञान कृष्ण त्रिविध प्रकृति ज्ञान जो ज्ञान जोग भक्ति तीन साधन वशे ब्रह्मा आत्मा भगवान त्रिविध प्रकाशे देर आर थ्री काइंड ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल प्रसेस फॉर अंडारस्टैंडिंग द एबसुलट ट्रुथ द प्रसेस ऑफ स्पेक्युलेटिव नॉलेज mystic yoga and bhakti yoga according to these three processes the absolute truth is manifested as brahman paramatma or bhagavan so the process of secular knowledge and realizes the personal brahman so through the process of speculative knowledge one realizes the impersonal brahman the process of It's called mystic yoga. To the process of realize paramatma. To the process of eightfold mystic yoga, one can realize the paramatma. To the process of bhakti yoga or devotional service. To the process of bhakti yoga or devotional service. One can realize the supreme personality of God. One can realize the supreme personality of God. Bhagavan. Who is Bhagavan? Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Lila. शास्त्र प्रमाण श्रीमद भागवत में एक दुई एगार बदंती तत्तस्त जदज्ञानम अद्यम ब्रह्मति परमात्मति भगवान शब्दते लर्न ट्रांसेंडेंटलिस्ट हू नो द एब्सुलट ट्रुथ कॉल दिस नॉन डुअल सब्सटेंस ब्रह्मन परमात्मा ओ भगवान परपट बाय हिज डिवाइन ग्रेशील प्रभु पाथ This is a quotation from Shrimad Bhagavatam 1.2.11. Those who are interested in the impersonal Brahman effulgence, which is not different from the supreme personality of Godhead, can attain that goal by speculative knowledge. Those who are interested in practicing mystic yoga can attain lo- the localized aspect of Paramatma, as stated in the Bhagavad Gita. 18.61 Ishvara Sarva Bhutanam Hridayeshe Arjuna Tishtati The supreme personality of Godhead is situated within the heart of Paramatma He witnesses the activities of the living entities and gives them permission to act For further explanation see Adi Lila chapter 2 verse 11 So I have to try explains the process of realization of the personal brahman so this purport explains the process of realizing realization of the impersonal brahman and the all pervasive 
So it's all. And the all pervasive super soul. But all these three forms are non different aspects of the absolute truth. So all these three forms are the non different aspects of the absolute truth. But the complete form But the complete form is the supreme personality of Godhead. Is the supreme personality of Godhead. Chaitanya Charita Mrita Madhya Leela 20.159 Nirvishel Brahma Krishna Anga Prabha Brahma Anga Kanti Tare Nirvishes Prakase Surjo Jana Charma Chakhe Jyotir Maya Bhase The manifestation of the impersonal Brahman effulgence which is without variety is the rays of Krishna's bodily effulgence. It is exactly like the sun. When the sun is seen by our ordinary eyes, it appears to consist simply of effulgence. This is the description of the impersonal Brahman. So this is the description of the impersonal Brahman. Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Leela 20.160 Shastra Praman Brahma Sangitae Pacher Cholish Jasya Prabha Prabhavato Jagadanda Koti Koti Sashesha Vasutta Dividitu Voti Binnam Tat Brahma Drakshanish Kalam Ananta Mashesha Bhutan Govinda Mahani Purusham Tadam Tadam I worship Govinda the primeval Lord who is endowed with great power, the glowing effulgence of his transcendental form is the impersonal Brahman, which is absolute, complete and unlimited and which displays the varieties of countless planets with their different opulences in millions and millions of universes. Purport by Srila Prabhupada, this verse is quoted from Brahma Samhita 540 for an explanation refer to Adi Leela, chapter 2, verse 114. Chaitanya Charita Amrita Madhya Leela, 20.161. Dui Paramatma Krishna Amsha Vaibhav. Paramatma Jehoteho Krishna Ro Ak Amsha. Atmar Atma Han Krishna. Sarvavatamsha. The Paramatma, the super soul feature, is the plenary portion of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is the original soul of all living entities. Krishna is the source of the Paramatma. This verse explains the position of Paramatma. So this verse explains the position of Paramatma. So the soul. The super soul. And the plenary portion expansion of Krishna. So the plenary portion expansion of Krishna situated in every atom and everyone's heart. Chaitanya Charita Amrita Madhya Leela 20.162 Krishna Paramatma Srimad Bhagavatam Dosh Chodda Panchan Krishna Menam Avehitvam Atmanam Akilatmanam Akilatmanam Jagaditaya So Apyatra Dehi Va Bhati Mayaya You should know Krishna to be the original soul of all Atmas, living entities. For the benefit of the whole universe, He has, out of His cosmos mercy, appeared as an ordinary human being. He has done this by strength of His own internal potency. Quotation Purport by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. This is a quotation from Srimad Bhagavatam 10, 14, 55. Parikshit Maharaj asked Shukadev Goswami why Krishna was so beloved by the residents of Vrindavan when who loved him even more than their own offsprings or life itself. At that time, Shukdev Goswami replied that everyone's Atma or soul is very, very dear, especially to all living entities who have accepted material bodies. 
but that atma that spirit soul is the part and parcel of krishna for this reason krishna is very dear to every living entity everyone's body is very dear to oneself and one wants to protect the body by all means because within the body the soul is living due to the intimate relationship between the soul and the body the body is important and dear to everyone similarly the soul being part and parcel of krishna the supreme lord is very very dear to all living entities unfortunately the soul forgets his constitutional position and thinks he is only the body deha dehatma buddhi thus the soul is subjected to the rules and regulations of material nature when a living entity by his intelligence reawakens his attraction for krishna he can understand that he is not the body but part and parcel of krishna thus filled with knowledge he no longer labors under attachment to the body and everything related to the body janasya mohoyam aham mameti material existence wherein one thinks i am the body and this belongs to me is also illusory one must redirect his attraction to krishna shrimad bhagavatam 1.2.7 states vasudeva bhagavati bhakti yoga prayojitah janayati tyasu vairagyam dhyanam cha yat ahaitukam by rendering devotional service unto the personality of godhead shri krishna one immediately acquires causeless knowledge and detachment from the world mera vai krishna was so dear the vai was his same the reason why krishna was so dear to the vrajavasi is explained uh, is the soul of the souls that he is the soul of the souls so they realize that in the him very very dear to them they, they realize that so he became very very dear to them why they were in the house more dear than anything else so so i we render devotional service so similarly we render pure devotional service like a soul is all wants to draw us and krishna will become the most dearest to us and as it will become we get knowledge and detachment and naturally we will get knowledge and detachment chaitanya charitamrita madhya leela uh, 20.163 shrimad bhagavad gita 10.42 अथवा बहुनै बहुनैतेन किं ज्ञातेन तवाजुन विष्टाभ्याहम इदम कृष्ण एकांस्तेन स्थित जगत वेन् वाट इज नीडेड दैर अर्जुन फॉर ऑल दिस डीटेल्ड नॉलेज विथ अ सिंगल फ्रैक्टमेंट ऑफ मै सेल्फ आई पवेट एंड सपोर्ट दिस एंटायर यूनिवर्स There are unlimited millions of universes. There are unlimited millions of universes. And each universe, in each universe, is maintained and raised by a small portion of Krishna. In each universe, it is maintained, created by a small portion of Krishna. By a single fragment. A single fragment. So we cannot begin to understand Krishna's great opulence. so we cannot begin to understand krishna's great opulence what he is very kind he accepts our devotional service but he is very kind that he accepts our devotional service purport this is a quotation from the bhagavad gita 10.42 chaitanya charitamrita madhya leela 20.164 kito bhakti joge krishnar punna bhagavat prapti भक्ते ओ भगवान अनुभव पूर्ण रोग एक विग्रहे अनंत सारोग only by devotional activity can one understand the transcendental form of the lord which is perfect in all respects although his form is one 
he can expand his form into unlimited numbers by his supreme will. Well, I, I can't write three verses. He has, Krishna has Ananta Rupam. Actually, we read in the previous verses, Krishna has Ananta Rupam. He has unlimited forms. He has unlimited forms. That means he has unlimited names. That means he has unlimited names. What? Is very kind that if we render him devotional service, but he is very kind that if we render him devotional service, he gives us his shelter. He gives us his shelter, and we can be in his eternal shelter and association. And we can be in his eternal shelter in his association. Thus ends the chapter entitled Three Processes for Understanding Brahman. Paramatma and Bhagavan under the section Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu instructs Sanatan Goswami in the science of absolute truth. Do you like our ad free videos? Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day and don't forget to like and share our channel.